Good morning, everyone. I'm JJ Wong. I'm senior in computer engineering in Auburn University. Hello, my name is Joshua Freeman, and I'm a senior in electrical engineering. My name is Dennis Brown, and I'm also a senior in electrical engineering. For our senior design project, we decided to design a chess board to assist beginners with learning the game of chess. My first time playing chess, the hardest part for me was remembering each move that each piece could make. So we decided to design a chess board to assist beginners with this issue. So how we were able to determine whether a piece is on a square or not is we designed uh, an infrared circuit where there's an infrared sensor on each of these squares. This is the circuit design that we use for our sensors that are on the chessboard. We have one of these circuits for each individual square. How it works is you have an infrared LED right here that emits a light. If that light strikes an object or anything above it, it gets reflected to this photodiode, which then sends a signal to this chip. This chip converts an analog input signal into a digital output signal. That output signal then goes to our MCP chip. In order to control how far an object has to be away from the sensors until it sends a signal to this chip, we have a variable resistor right here which can be tuned from 0 ohms all the way up to 10,000 ohms. So we were able to control whether an object was 4 feet away all the way down to less than a quarter of an inch away before it sent the signal. After we designed our IR sensors, our next step was to figure out how to get 64 outputs to 23 input output pins on the Raspberry Pi. Our initial thought was to go with uh, eight, to one, eight, 8 to 1 multiplexes, but we ran into the same problem being that we still had 32 outputs and only 23 input output pins. So we did some more research, came across a uh, port expander, which is an MCP 23017 chip. Basically, this allowed us to add up to 128 input output pins. Here's a pin out of the MCP chip. Each MCP chip has 16 input output pins broken into groups of eight. Each group of eight is used to represent a row on the chessboard. Each MCP chip is assigned an address using pins A1, A2, and A0. So the Raspberry Pi can distinguish between each of the MCP chips. To transfer data to and from the Raspberry Pi, Pin 13, the data line is used. The software that controls the graphic marking in three big major MCP engine, board engine, and game engine. The MCP engine will receive the signal from the IR sensor and then output the GPIO signal of that chip to the board engine. The board engine will use the GPIO signal to identify which position on the board has been moved and then pass the the move position to the game engine. The game engine will use that position, that position to calculate the potential move can make of that pieces, and then output a list of the potential move to the LED position converter to convert that position to the LED light up position, and then the LED will light up. So this is just showing all of the LEDs we have in here. There's one LED per square and we can control what color that LED lights up individually. Now we're going to demonstrate how the chessboard works. The left side of the board is supposed to go first. So if I lift a piece on my side of the board, the game doesn't start. Okay, so I'm going to lift this piece right here. It's going to highlight the two moves that I can make. When I put the piece down, it's going to register that that piece got set down on that square and store that position into the game engine. Okay, now I'm going to represent a piece that gets put in the wrong spot. So I lift my knight up. It highlights the two squares that I can move to. I'm going to put it down in an invalid square. It's going to come up with an error right there. So I have to lift it up and put it down in a valid valid spot. Now to demonstrate what happens when you have the possibility to capture a piece. I'm going to lift my pawn here and the red square indicates a piece that can be captured. So I'm going to pick his piece up, the game recognizes his piece has been lifted and place my piece where <coughs> that piece was taken from.
This concludes our presentation. Thank you for your time, and we hope you enjoyed it.